Uh, I'm Lisa McKnight, and I oversee marketing uh, for the North America division. And I'm happy to say this is actually our first Mattel-wide press conference at Toy Fair. We've had many um, exciting events throughout the years focusing on individual brands. But today what we wanted to do was give you a broader perspective about our portfolio. And uh, we do have quite a portfolio. We are able to um, engage kids of all ages, starting at the infant, going all the way up to um, the older, um, even preteen years. Before I get into the presentation um, and bring the team up to share all the exciting new innovative toys that we have for the fall uh, selling season, I do want to acknowledge that last year we experienced a lot of change um, in the environment. I'm sure you all saw it as well. And we're going to talk about some of that um, in today's conference obviously, and how we uh, market those products to kids and to their families. And what you're going to see more from Mattel is a hyper focus on studying consumers' needs. And, as a result, and again, you're going to see some really cool items across these brands as well as um, some really exciting engagement plans and new ways to market. In addition, we're fortunate enough to have best-in-class partners. We partner with the biggest entertainment companies in the world, and we bring their stories to life through really exciting, innovative products. We all Toy designs, as well as some recent research results around a topic that's a, it's a pretty hot topic within the toy industry these days, the impact of new technology on traditional toy play. So, I mean, typically we like to look at weekends as a fairly stable occasion. And what we see is on any given weekend day, a child has about five hours for fun, right? In addition to activities of daily living, such as running errands. Now, while kids' and moms' needs really haven't changed that much over the last century, how mom's path of purchase has changed drastically. Today's mom, especially that first time millennial mom, you know this. And this is an incredible suite of products that includes not just great products, but apps as well with great learning elements. And this between Disney, Nickelodeon, Saban, and we're gonna be introducing even new friends. We have a lot of new news in these, in these characters as we go into fall 2014. Welcome to the island of Sotor. Jeremy just loves pressing all different kinds of buttons and dancing to the music. One night we actually decided to go with Dance Party. Um, so like crank the music up really loud, put the lights on. That's more than the big three combined since the dawn of the auto industry. And there's over 41 million adults in the U.S. who grew up driving their own Hot Wheels cars. And it's why uh, with the Camaro, they made a real Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels package this past year where people could buy the Hot Wheels package and drive around a real Hot Wheels car and have the thrill themselves. And that's sold out throughout the country. But one day, a mystery car comes to Hilly Woodlands, trailing behind him purple smoke and laying down orange track everywhere. At first, the kids think this is the greatest thing that ever happened to them because they're racers. But, but together, you're all team Hot Wheels! But then, once kids have fired up their imagination from seeing the imagination, from seeing the, the content, we know that they're going to want to build it in real life, right? Accessories yeah. installed separately to create your ultimate Hot Wheels track. They attach fast and easy, so you can design a new track every time. Hot Wheels Track Builder. What will you build next? Tower starter set starts track. Now, Barbie was created by Ruth Handler, a mother, a woman, an entrepreneur. And to her, Barbie always represented that a woman had choices. Now, from our most iconic brand to our newest, I'm happy to introduce you to Ever After High. For 2014, I think you'll agree that there are no other brands and manufacturers and, and toy companies out there